I'm here with Lloyda Lewis, who is the first Asian woman to have passed the New York bar without going to school here. That's the first thing, right, Lloyda? And then, of course, you're the widow of, I believe, the first black billion dollar deal maker, Reginald F. Lewis. You're a CEO, you're an author, you are an entrepreneur, philanthropist, and you've got a new book out, you know, which is Why Should Guys Have All the Fun? I love that title. I think, didn't your, um, didn't your husband have a similar book? That's right. What was his In book? In 1995, I published his unwritten or unfinished manuscript with the help of Blair Walker. Why should white guys have all the fun? I love this. Uh, well, well let, let's start with how the two of you met. <laughs> yes. When I passed the bar in the Philippines and became a lawyer, that was my father's dream for himself. And I was, I, he chose me and I became the lawyer. So he said, all right, my gift to you around the world. Wait for your sister in New York, study in Columbia, mm-hmm. and then come back and we'll start your career. Ah, okay. The best laid plans. I take it you didn't come back from that trip. That's right. While I was here, I met Reginald Lewis on a blind date. Really? And that's how we really met. My boss then was a Harvard Law graduate, and I introduced him to my sister. He was fast. They were going out on the date that weekend. So on the Friday, he asked me, my, my boss asked me, why don't I do a double date? I'll fix you a blind date. Well, for me, blind date, that's a new adventure, sure. And that's how I met Reginald Lewis on a blind date. Well, let's, let's, so I, I know that he died very young. You had two, was it two daughters? Um, talk a little bit about, uh, before we get into you taking over the business that he built, because I know that you basically got that business when he died. Tell us a little bit about Reginald and, you know, what made him so noteworthy. Well, First of all, why did I get married? Because I wasn't supposed to. I had, We're never supposed to, right? We're never supposed yeah, to. I was going thing. to be a nun, but that was shelled Really? Off. Yes. My father's dream for me was to be the lawyer, run for public office, so that when I was seven years old, he built a movie house, Lloyd the Theater, so that when I'm ready... You have I'm a ready. theater named after you Lloyd in the Philippines? The I love That's that. Right. So that when I have ready to run. I already have name recognition. Mm -hmm. So that was all the plan. But when I met Mr. Lewis for the first time, whatever he said, I had something to say. And whatever I said, he had something to add. And as I knew him more, I understood, you know, I'm ambitious, more ambitious. I am driven. He's more driven. Mm -hmm. I call myself AAA, as you can see. He's AAA. And the most of all is that he was masterful. And so all that, my dreams in the Philippines surrender. That can make for a very high-stress partnership, AAA meets AAA in a marriage, but it worked well for you. It worked well because I understood that I am marrying him not so that I would rule the family. Otherwise, in fact, I was not intending to get married. Mm. Why? Because I didn't wear, I didn't want to wear the pants in the family. Why would I get married? I can take care of myself. Mm-hmm. And so when I married him, I knew I will be his helpmate, but he is, he is his own rocket ship. Mm-hmm. So I had to sort of like see how best I can help him. That's why, I, that's why we, we, I, we made it work. So he died quite young. Your 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 um, youngest was still. They were teenagers, were they not? When their dad died. Yes, Christina was twelve. Mm. Leslie was nineteen. Leslie was at Harvard, sophomore, and Christina was just in middle school. So it was very hard for all of us. It was very hard for me. I never expected that, you yeah. know, that he would die. We were supposed to grow old together. Yeah. And so. How I, old were you at the time? I was also 50. Yeah. Yes. So so you did, did you know right away that you wanted to take over or what was no, your... No, 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 of course not. We never talked about it, mm. you know, so he was there. You know, he, he made it sure that if anything happens to him, his brother, Gene Fugit, would take over. So when he got sick, he made him vice chairman. Mm-hmm. And so when he died, automatic CEO. But there was always, he told Gene... Okay, go to General Colin Powell and see if he could take over CEO. 
I didn't know that until Gene Fugit told me mm. that was his plan. So it was never in the plan. So General Colin Powell was not available. We have to hire the best. So we did ask Spencer Stewart, mm -hmm. send us candidates. So this is their executive one. recruiting firm. That's right. Yes. And they, they honed they, back on you. They, yes, they gave me one and then a second one and a third one and a fourth one and a fifth one. So why did I not choose any of them? Although, you know, the company is known as the first black billion dollar company, they were all white. I don't have anything against with that. But they were all asking for a lot of money. Yes, sure. But when I asked them, so can you make it successful? We'll try it. I'll try my best. Try your, in my mind, try your best. What if you fail? Then the whole thing, Mr. Lewis' life would be over. So I said, mm. after prayer, December 22, I said, very clear, take responsibility, Loida. Take it over. And that's how it happened. It was not in the plan, but I think it's best that if I fail, I don't have to say, oh, why did you do it? Why well, did you there's do a it? rich history you know, of... It's me who's yeah. responsible. 